a civet is a small, live-bodied, mostly nocturnal mammal native to tropical Asia and Africa, especially the tropical forests. The term civet applies to over a dozen different mammal species. Most of the species' diversity is found in Southeast Asia. The best-known civet species is the African civet, Civetictus civeta, which historically has been the main species from which was obtained a musky scent used in perfumery. The word civet may also refer to the distinctive musky scent produced by the animals. A minority of writers use the name civet to cover Civetictus, Vivera and Vivericula civets. But in more common usage in English the name also covers Crotogale, Cynogale, Diplogale, Hemogalus, Arctogalidia, Macrogalidia, Pergama, and Paradoxerus civets. Taxonomy The common name is used for a variety of carnivorous mammalian species mostly of the family Viveridae. The African palm civet is genetically distinct and belongs in its own monotypic family, Nandiniidae. Civets are also called Todicats in English and Musang in Malay. The latter may lead to some confusion as the indigenous word Musang has been appropriated to foxes, which exist in popular culture but are not native and generally never encountered in that geographical region. Physical Characteristics Civets have a broadly cat-like general appearance, though the muzzle is extended and often pointed, rather like that of an otter or a mongoose. They range in length from about 17 to 28 in and in weight from about 3 to 10 lb. The civet produces a musk highly valued as a fragrance and stabilizing agent for perfume. Both male and female civets produce their strong smelling secretion, which is produced by the civet's perineal glands. It is harvested by either killing the animal and removing the glands, or by scraping the secretions from the glands of a live animal. The latter is the preferred method today. Animal rights groups, such as the World Society for the Protection of Animals, express concern that harvesting musk is cruel to animals. Between these ethical concerns and the availability of synthetic substitutes, the practice of raising civets for musk is dying out. Chanel maker of the popular perfume Chanel No. 5, claims that natural civet has been replaced with a synthetic substitute since 1998. Habitat Viverids are native to Africa, Madagascar, the Iberian Peninsula, southern China, south and southeast Asia. Favorite habitats include woodland, savanna, and mountain biomes and, above all, tropical rainforest. In consequence, many are faced with severe loss of habitat. Several species are considered vulnerable and the otter civet is classified as endangered. Some species of civet are very rare and elusive and hardly anything is known about them, for example, the hose's civet, endemic to the montane forests of northern Bonio, is one of the world's least known carnivores. Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, in Sri Lanka, the Asian palm civet species is known as Yugudua by the Sinhala-speaking community. The terms Yuguduwa and Kilawede are used interchangeably by the Sri Lankan community to refer to the same animal. However, the term Kilawede is mostly used to refer to another species in the civet family, the small Indian civet. Sri Lanka also has an endemic civet species called Golden Palm Civet. In Bangladesh and in Bangla-speaking areas of India this animal is known as Katash, and is now extremely rare in all parts of Bangladesh. Relationship with humans, coffee. Kopi Luwak, also known as Kaffee Cut Con in Vietnam and Kaper Lamed in the Philippines, is coffee that is prepared using coffee cherries that have been eaten and partially digested by the Asian palm civet, then harvested from its fecal matter. The civets digest the flesh of the coffee cherries but pass the beans inside, leaving their stomach enzymes to go to work on the beans, which adds to the coffee's prized aroma and flavor. One pound can cost up to $600 in some parts of the world and about $100 a cup in others. A 2012 investigation by The Guardian newspaper found Indonesian civets held separately in cramped cages. The animals were force-fed a debilitating diet of coffee cherries in conditions described by the traffic charity as awful and horrific. There is a campaign underway to encourage ethical civet coffee. Pets some of the indigenous people in peninsular Malaysia, the Orang Asli, may occasionally keep pet civets. Urban environments, palm civets often venture into urban and suburban environments, 
with people often complaining about civet feces or noise from the animals climbing on roofs. Some studies have been undertaken to examine and mitigate human-animal conflict in these cases. References External links Raising Small Indian Civet Archive.org Copy from website www.vietlinvn, The Search for Ethical Civet Coffee, The Coffee Locator